G-Man. Yeah, okay. Let's begin. G-Man thinks he has me over a barrel because out of the five times that I used a phrase that included proven negative, the fifth or sixth time I accidentally said disprove a negative, which I, I kind of get confused by the wordiness sometimes, but if I remember correctly, that actually just means that I can, you know, prove something exists, So because I kind of double negative it out. So... Even though I misspoke, the other five times I had correctly said, prove a negative. And I explained over and over what that actually means. So for G-Man to, you know, to attack that one time and then completely just not even use the definition of what those words mean and then just make it up, make up his own definition... Just completely intellectually dishonest, and I'm going to try to explain where the f*** that came from. G-Man, I really hope you're not really this intellectually dishonest. You heard me four or five times say you can't prove a negative and explain what that actually means. But you cling to this, you know, the fact that I had said disprove a negative, um, which... If I, I, I can be wrong with how I'm saying this, and I could, you know, this, this explanation, but if I'm correct, it's closer to me actually having made a, a double negative, and basically instead of saying you can't disprove a negative, I've basically just said you can prove a negative, or you can prove a positive, which the wordiness sometimes throws me off. However, even if I'm wrong about that, the claim that my um, argument, as you said around a minute 40, because your God does not exist, then you can't prove his non-existence. You can't prove that he doesn't exist. This is what G-Man said that I was saying by saying disproving a negative. Nowhere in that sentence of disproving a negative is any sort of a presuppositional argument. Nothing said it had any parallel to God not existing, except for the fact that there is the you know, word dis- and which is kind of a you know for a negative or and then your the beginning of your parallel sentence was because your god does not exist like that's the only parallel at the beginning of the sentence there was some sort of a negative um uh, th th that's it so to try and tell the, your subscribers that you know that i was doing a presuppositional tactic i i, I really hope that was just um ignorance and not intellectual dishonesty, G-Man, because that's just terrible. That's deplorable. G-Man, do, do you not understand? We are not presuppositionalists. We are not presupposing that God does not exist. That is the position of the anti-theists. I don't know how many times we're going to have to tell you this. I don't know why you're trying to read between the lines and find the little chinks in our armor and revealing us for what we really are. That we're hiding behind this non-presuppositional argument so we can stay safe from the burden of proof. As far as my video is concerned, if I could put it on the very top of my page and say, here, everybody watch this video, I would. And, and for you, I hope you take my video that you mirror it and you put it on your page and you tell everybody to watch it because my arguments do not prove anything for you. They do in your head and maybe a few Christians out there that seem to just follow your every word. But anybody else watching it can realize if they know anything about logical arguments of what was really said did not match anything on what you believe it said. And they're not going to be convinced by this, you know, what, this monstrosity of an argument that you p provided for us. Um, so no, I'm not getting rid of this video. It's actually one of my other few popular videos for some reason or another. So I'm keeping it around. So have fun with it. Do whatever you want with it.
but it doesn't do anything to help you at all. Over and over again, we have shown the possible alternatives to the answered prayer and, you know, and then also the fact that it is a burden of proof. But, you know, he doesn't listen, so I'm not wasting too much of my breath, so I'm going to skip on to the next part. Again, G-Man? You fucking did it again. I explained to you the difference between appeal to authority and appeal to popularity, and you still fucking get it wrong. You were claiming popularity, the appeal to popularity, because of the six million people, or billion, I forgot how you said it now, it couldn't be billion, it had to be 60, I don't even remember, but it was a large number of people that believe were Christians. That's an appeal to popularity. Negation of P put up, uh, you know, research and papers and documents and articles and fancy scientific words that you don't believe in because you don't believe in evolution or the scientific method, so I can understand where that confuses you. That is not an appeal to a popularity. This is the second time I've said this. I feel like I'm having to repeat myself. I... Please learn terms before you, you open your mouth. Especially when I've done you the favor and explained it to you in the last video, which apparently you did watch. You know, the more I make these videos, the more I'm convinced that you're doing this to be a troll. Um, and you're doing it for views. And you know what? I'm responding and I'm getting views too, so you know what? It's a win-win situation for both of us. Except for the fact that when you continue to uh, make bad arguments, G-Man, your subscribers and the people that are watching it are going to realize your bad arguments and you're, you're making it harder for yourself. So enjoy the views. Enjoy the subscribers. I mean, I am. <laughs> I might hit 100 subscribers really soon. Um, but at the end of the day... My beliefs are justified, and your misrepresentations of our arguments um, aren't helping you out either. So, that's it. Uh, G-Man, I hope you get to watch this. You probably will. Somebody tells you about it. Um, I look forward to response, and I also look forward to your whole passive-aggressive thing about negation of P. Uh, that shall be interesting, and... and and be prepared for a reply video as well. Um, so that's it, folks. This is the Atheist Chef signing off. Peace.